Tio! <laughs> You're such a big, big dreamer. I am Vuyo and I believe everyone is a dreamer. And as big, big dreamers, we never lose, we either win or learn. Without wasting any time, let's start learning. The Psychology of Money Chapter 7 Freedom Controlling your time is the highest dividend money pays. The most valuable form of wealth lies in waking up each morning with the ability to declare, I have the freedom to do whatever I desire today. People seek to increase their wealth with the aim of enhancing their happiness. Happiness is a complex topic due to individual differences, but a universal element is the desire for life control. The priceless capability to do as one pleases, whenever, with whomever, and for as long as one wishes, surpasses any monetary value. It represents the highest dividend that money can yield. Angus Campbell, a psychologist at the University of Michigan, conducted research during an era focused on psychological disorders like depression and anxiety. His 1981 book, The Sense of Well-Being in America, revealed that a strong sense of life control is a more reliable predictor of positive well-being than objective life conditions. More than salary, house size, or job prestige, the broadest lifestyle variable contributing to happiness is the control to do what one wants, when, and with whom. Money's greatest intrinsic value is its capacity to provide control over time, leading to increased independence and autonomy. A modest amount of wealth grants the ability to take time off work when sick without financial strain. A bit more allows for waiting for a better job opportunity, potentially life-changing. Having six months' worth of emergency expenses instills confidence and reduces fear of job loss. Greater wealth provides the flexibility to choose a job with lower pay but flexible hours or a shorter commute. It also enables handling medical emergencies without worrying about finances and allows for choosing when to retire. Using money to buy time and options offers a lifestyle benefit that few luxury goods can match. The story of Derek Sivers illustrates how a relatively small amount of money allowed him to quit his job and pursue his passion. Despite the United States being the richest nation in history, there is little evidence that citizens are, on average, happier today than in the 1950s. Increased wealth has been accompanied by a loss of control over time, leading to elevated stress levels. The shift in job nature, with more decision-making roles and thought-based work, means that individuals are constantly working mentally, blurring the line between work and personal time. Compared to previous generations, control over time has diminished, impacting overall happiness. Acknowledging what universally contributes to happiness is crucial. In his book 30 Lessons for Living, gerontologist Carl Pilmer found that elderly individuals value quality friendships, being part of something bigger than themselves, and spending unstructured time with their children. The consensus is that controlling one's time is the highest dividend money can provide. Addressing this issue is challenging due to individual differences. However, recognizing what makes people happy is the first step. Controlling one's time emerges as the most significant return on investment. This is the end of the chapter summary. Please do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And remember, a chapter a day keeps the mind enriched.